Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayers of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Once again, we pray the Mass for the preservation of peace and justice, that the actions, the de deliberations, and decisions being taken by the Congress today uh, may lead to peace and justice within our country. Let us prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, asking the Lord's grace and his mercy and forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God of peace, who are peace itself and whom a spirit of discord cannot grasp, nor a violent mind receive, grant that those who are one in heart may persevere in what is good, and that those in conflict may forget evil and so be healed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord, the Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark.
On leaving the synagogue, Jesus entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases, and he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him, and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages, that I may preach there also. For this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading today from the letter to the Hebrews about the high priesthood of Jesus reminds me of a very dear friend of mine, uh, Father Joe Lavoie, who has now been, has been uh, several, several years since, since he's passed. But it reminds me of him because of the, of the line here. Uh, he himself was tested through what he suffered. And uh, since I'm the one who had his little funeral card uh, put that together, this is the scripture that I chose from it. Uh, Father Joe had suffered for years with uh, phlebitis in his legs and had blood clots and having to wear the, those... Uh, compression hose, uh, not, just, not just the little ones down at, from your ankles up to your knee, but the, the full ones. And uh, so for him, it was, it was just a daily hassle, a daily routine of having to wash out his tights. And, uh, and, and I understand they're pretty expensive. They're not, they're not like going to... I was going to say Montgomery Wards, but it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> going to to one of the J.C. Penney or Macy's and buying regular stockings. They're pretty expensive. And he also said, and, and I have to take rat poison. Uh, he was on Coumadin. And he said, well, that's what they use for rat poison is Coumadin. <laughs> and so... Uh, not only his washing out the stockings and having to keep his, his foot elevated and having to wear, uh, to take this drug and, and being careful about what he ate, et cetera, et cetera. It is, it's just the whole aspect of he was tested through what he suffered and it gave him a sense of identification with those who had illness or disease, or had some limitation. It's, it's once you have it, then you can say, oh yeah, I can understand. And can be patient. So that the letter of the Hebrews is talking about Jesus and his high priesthood. But since we're all baptized into that priesthood of Jesus, it's when we learn from our illnesses and our disease how to be patient and kind and understanding, and we learn from what we suffer, then perhaps we can offer to 
others from the grace and the mercy that we have received from God. And we see that so clearly in the gospel today, where Peter's mother-in-law is in the grip of a fever. And Jesus grasps her by the hand and helps her up. And it says, immediately she began to wait on them. Not because it's, it was the woman's role to, to put out the, the food and the meal. It's because uh, this is a very specific word in Greek. It, the, to wait on them is diakonia. And it, it's to do the work of a deacon. It's to serve. That when Jesus grasps us by the hand and helps us up, especially from the grip of the devil or sin, it's to make us whole so that we can begin to serve so that our suffering could teach us you've been made whole by the gracious act of God not because you earned it not because you deserved it but because God has shown you compassion and mercy and love then serve put your life at the service of the gospel the mother-in-law begins to wait on Jesus begins to serve him serve the gospel what he had come to do was to preach to the other towns as well and to heal them and driving out the demons may we who have been grasped by the hand and helped up and made whole then go forth from here doing the good works and announcing the kingdom with our lives let us pray. That the church may, as the servant of God and of the gospel, proclaim Jesus and make him known to all peoples. By word and sacrament, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the preachers of the gospel, catechists, missionaries, evangelists, those who teach scriptures, may they be inspired by the word of God and help bring people to faith through their preaching and witness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our government and its leadership, as I mentioned at the beginning, in particular for our Congress now in session, uh, voting on the article of impeachment that the wisdom of the Holy Spirit will guide their deliberations and the decision to help lead our nation in the ways of justice and peace we pray to the Lord Lord for those who have been infected with the coronavirus and who are struggling for their lives in hospitals. For the doctors and nurses and hospital staffs that are working so diligently to care for them. For their family members that, who are so anxious for their loved ones, whether the sick or the caregivers. May God protect them from the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our nation, as we approach the inauguration of a new president, that there may be a peaceful transition of power from one administration to the next, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, we need to pray also for the members of our state legislature, which will soon enter into session for their decisions, for the good of the people of the state of New Mexico. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those commended to our prayer today, for the repose of the deceased, Father Jonas Romea, peace. God, you have healed us, and you have sent us to serve in the name of your son Jesus strengthen us by your gifts of grace that our service may be done joyfully
Enra. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with one living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We bow and offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that, sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.